More on how this will affect the race for the White House with just 32 days to go before Election Day. Let's head straight to Mary Bruce in Washington, who's been covering this all. Mary, this news has the potential to bring this race to a halt. There's supposed to be another pre presidential debate in less than two weeks, and the vice presidential debate just days from now. And Cecilia, there are now real questions about whether these debates are going to go forward. The president and Joe Biden set for their next face off in just two weeks on October 15th. That debate is now in real jeopardy. And there are still some questions, even though Mike Pence has now tested negative, about the vice presidential debate, which is set for this coming Wednesday. 32 days until the election. And as you say, the campaign trail as we know it has now come to a screeching halt. The president has been out campaigning aggressively. He is now effectively grounded. And we do not know how long he is going to be in isolation, but he is likely to lose a large chunk of time during this critical final stretch. This is also a huge blow to the president's entire campaign message around the pandemic. He has been out there arguing that the country is rounding the corner on the coronavirus. It's why he's been holding uh, these big rallies to help prove that point. The fact that the president of the United States has now tested positive undercuts his entire campaign message on this virus. Cecilia. Yeah, they had been hoping to uh, close the gap on some of those polls by with an aggressive travel schedule over the next couple of weeks. That certainly is not happening. And of course, the president and Biden were on stage together for that debate on Tuesday. What do we know now about Biden being tested? Well, sources tell me that Joe Biden is being tested again this morning. He, of course, is regularly tested. And he did just send out a tweet saying that he sends his thoughts to the president and the first lady for a speedy recovery. We did, of course, see the two of them on that stage for 90 minutes on Tuesday, socially distanced, but not wearing any masks. And we don't know if they cross paths at all during any other point of the night. We also know that some in the president's inner circle were spotted in the audience of the debate not wearing masks. Joe Biden, of course, uh, has been taking very serious safety precautions throughout this campaign, taking the opposite tack uh, of the president in many ways. He has done very few in-person events, uh, always with very strict safety protocols. I can tell you I have been at many of them myself. Uh, they insist that they follow the local guidance, and that in part is because it is part of Vice President Joe Biden's campaign message to try and show that this virus is still a very real threat, one that he argues he can help tackle if elected. Mary, I have to ask you an additional question. You may not have answers to this yet, but what does this mean for the confirmation of, of Judge Amy Coney Barrett to the Supreme Court? She, of course, has been at the White House. She was at the White House on Saturday. She's been at the White House meeting with staffers since then, has been on Capitol Hill as well meeting with senators. George, in fact, Republican leader Mitch McConnell in an interview just now called COVID the biggest threat to Amy Coney Barrett's Senate confirmation. They know that they have a razor thin margin here. The Republicans are not going to get support from any Democrats. Mitch McConnell is saying it is all hands on deck now. They're going to take safety precautions very seriously, possibly do these confirmation hearings remotely. Mary Bruce, thanks very much.